Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In last video, we have seen what is a crawl property in SharePoint Online and what basically is the search index and how exactly it works. Now on this video, we'll see uh, and discuss about what are managed property and how we you know basically map the crawl property with the managed property so that uh, we can you know make our search more easy. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our lab environment and on last video, I have uh, explained you about the crawl property and I have created this uh, column, which is the choice column and I have you know shown you how the crawl property was created of this basically of this column. Uh, now on this video, first of all, uh, before we proceed, let's uh, understand what is the managed property. So basically the managed property is a list of uh, useful content and a metadata included in the search index. And we normally just, you know, map the useful crawl property, like the crawl property of this column with the, you know, the managed property to make the search more easy. So basically uh, each managed property has settings that uh, determine how users can search for the content of the managed property and uh, how the content can be shown in the search results when we you know perform search in sharepoint so we can create uh, you know the custom managed properties uh, but this can only contain text or uh, you know this uh, choice column which is a yes no column if you so if you need the content types in your you know custom managed property uh, then we have to use one of the unused built in managed properties so these managed property can uh, you know contain the information in integer decimal date and time double uh, you know precision float or binary format so we can rename this uh, unused managed properties by using the alias setting as well so for the built-in uh, you know managed property let me show you built-in uh, i am referring to these managed properties which you can see currently on the screen these are the uh, you know the built-in managed properties so we can change their mapping to the uh, crawl property but the only uh, setting you can change is the alias so one important note before we proceed like if uh, an alias is added to a managed property we have to ensure the managed property with the same name as the alias does not already exist if it will be the situation then the alias managed property will take the precedence during the search and in the microsoft 365 experience because it is uh, relying on the specific properties and value uh, you know may break as in the results it is basically not advisable from microsoft to change the mapping or mapping order of the crawl property for existing managed property outside of the default unused managed property so basically we can use this you know uh, by default managed property but my that column type is a text column okay so uh, i can uh, i can show you like how to create a custom managed property so creating the custom managed property will click on new managed property uh, now we'll give it a name to this property and I will let me write it MS project. Okay, uh, we can give it a description as well. Let me copy the property name and I will enter the same. Okay, so as I've informed you, uh, like uh, you could see all other options are not available, only text and yes and no uh, type of, you know, property is there, then we can use this, you know, custom managed property now we have we can check the box of uh, you know this property should be searchable we'll click on advanced searchable settings all right uh, it's showing you like choose advanced searchable settings full text index which will define our full text index in the managed property is stored in so we'll select people idx weight group like we can set it to zero only it will define the content of the managed property within it's a full text index so we'll click on okay okay we'll scroll down uh, we'll check the box of uh, retrievable if you want to add multiple you know properties we can select this box rest all the columns are you know not available so these features are gray out we can select the safe for this managed property you can enter the alias as well so from here you can also do the mapping of this uh, you know crawl property so we'll click on add a mapping all right uh, now we can select our crawl property which was the name of with the project let me find it 
so you can see our crawl property OWS underscore project owner we'll click on OK okay so now if you scroll down you could see we have done the mapping of the crawl property with the manage property now we can click on OK all right let's see whether you know the crawl property is mapped with the manage property or not so we'll search for our custom created managed property so here you could see our custom managed property is created and it is mapped to our crawl property OWS underscore project owner so friends uh, that's how we do the mapping of the crawl property with the managed property now on the uh, now on the next video I will show you how we can filter out uh, you know the search based on the manage property which we just now created so friends that's all for this video demonstration I will see you guys on next video for more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.